up guys it's your girl Kelly Lene back with another vlog I'm so excited guys good morning happy Saturday hope you guys having a good week good morning I know I'm super late uploading this week but guys I've been extremely busy but we'll get into that a little bit later on right now I'm so excited because I'm really hungry and I am back with another mukbang video for slutty vegan y'all know i'm obsessed with slutty vegan i love the food at slutty vegan guys i just can't get enough of it this time they have a breakfast menu they just launched this brand new breakfast menu on march 1st and I love breakfast food. Like breakfast food is my favorite, favorite food. I can eat breakfast food at any time of the day. They have like all these different breakfast sandwiches and I could not wait to get to try it. So this is the study vegan orange juice. I cannot, I can't go without the orange juice when I'm eating a breakfast sandwich. I ordered the VEC. The Plan BEC, which is a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit from Study Vegan. All plant-based, guys, by the way. So, with that being said, I'm just going to get right into it because it's nice and hot. I don't want to wait till it gets, like, cold. I'm just going to eat it straight out. So, guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, guys, this is the BEC. The Plan BEC. As you can see, it's nice and toasted. The biscuit's nice and buttery. They have like this plant-based bacon with egg and cheese. And yeah, everything is plant-based. So we're gonna see how this is. Here we go. Guys, that is delicious. Delicious. If I would never think that was vegan, for real. When I ordered this hash brown to go with it, he asked me if I wanted some jelly. I really don't eat jelly with my breakfast sandwiches, to be honest. Only time I really eat jelly is like with toast, you know? But um, yeah, I've got this hash brown. Guys, I love Oh my gosh, breakfast food it just makes me happy. Here we go, another bite. This is definitely A1 for sure. So good guys. Yes guys, the hash brown was very seasoned and crispy it was very good and <clears throat> that was 10 out of 10 guys for real that was really good Whew. I had to let it marinate because that was really, really good, guys. Literally 10 out of 10, no exaggeration. If you're here in Atlanta, go try Slutty Vegan. The breakfast menu is really, really good. And by the way, I'm actually at the Slutty Vegan in downtown Atlanta, so on Edgewood. And that was my first time going to that location. Like the last time I went to Slutty Vegan, it was on at a different location. It, I think it was on. Um, I don't know where it was somewhere in the city but it wasn't that one that's my first time going to that one and then the last two times I went while well, was since I've been here that one was at Georgia Tech remember so yeah I really like this one so far this has been the best like quality is at over at Edgewood Georgia Tech it was good but like I don't know it's a different if I would pick which location i would definitely say edgewood because it just has a different it's more season to me i don't know like i don't know i can't explain it but yeah guys came all the way back to the city 
just to try study vegan. I mean, I'm only 20 <laughs> minutes away. But, um, yeah, guys, I also want to give you guys a quick update video on everything that's been going on since I moved back to Georgia. It's been going on three months, almost. It'll be three months at the end of this month. So, yeah, it's been like two months so far. Honestly, I'm really, really just feeling happy about everything and how everything has been going, you know, because everything has been going so smoothly as far as you know getting my jobs quickly in this field sorry this man is just like staring at the oh he's walking his dog i was looking like why is he just standing there this... <laughs> but anyway um yes yeah, so yeah as far as me getting like jobs quickly in my field you know that's just been a blessing honestly i really enjoy what i do guys truly I truly feel like I'm living in my purpose because, you know, when I wake up, I usually, I wake up super early, I go teach my classes, I train my clients in the morning, and I just started my new job as a wellness coach. So that was my first ever certification with NASA, was getting my wellness coach certification. So I just feel really blessed to have gotten like my first job in in this field because I've never done it before. That's why I mean like it's a blessing because it's I feel like it's hard to get a job without experience in a certain field, you know? But but they must see something in me, you know, to hire me in this position cuz Essentially, I really am helping other people like with their goals, their fitness goals and stuff like that. So it's truly a blessing. I don't know if you guys have been seeing in the media about this whole Risa Tisa TikTok compilation. It kept coming up on my YouTube feed and I was just like, let me check this out. So I went on TikTok. And I typed in Risa Tisa and I saw she had like a 50 video compilation. Guys, when I say I started watching it like the day before yesterday and I literally like finished it yesterday. I was just like, that is absolutely insane what she went through. And I empathize with her because like I kind of went through a similar situation like with a guy I was dating like I found out that he lied to me by his age and he also lied to me by having children so if it wasn't for me like being skeptical like I honestly it was God like giving me like skepticism about the whole situation like I don't know like kind of slow down a little bit and figure out who this guy really is you know and it wasn't until the pandemic when I actually found out everything and I decided to do a background check and did the background check and that's when I found all these child support cases and yeah he's clearly not taking care of his children because I mean I'm with him like every day and he never mentions or talks to you know his children so it's so crazy that that happened you know it's just it's scary out here guys honestly that like it's to the point where I feel like we have to check people's background checks you know because you don't know who people really are like it's 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 really scary some pe people like really portray to be themselves as something they're not and I also I said I empathize with Risa Tisa because you know this guy lied about everything like everything and it's just crazy like he lied about his family, lied about his career, lied about just everything. And it's just, you know, ladies, we got to be careful out here because it's just, that's why it's even scary to be like single or like dating in your 30s. It's, it's scary to be like dating in your 30s because it's like, it's different if you knew that person from like childhood or something or like you always knew them. Like you had like a history with them that way you you actually know them from like childhood so it's different versus you meet a complete stranger and you don't know like their history you don't know like 
like their family and background and all that like you don't know who people really are it's just it's scary so i really admire her for like being so vulnerable and speaking her truth and sharing her story because i know it's going to help a lot of people in the world you know and just kind of give them like that warning of like when you're dating just make sure you vet properly like make sure you really get to know somebody before you move in with them before you get married you know and that's my biggest thing is like you know i don't believe in moving in with a guy before marriage everyone has their own thing but for me personally i've been through that before like i was with my i was with an ex-boyfriend for for four years sorry guys i'm always looking at my surroundings and we lived together three out of the four years so i know exactly what it's like to live with a guy and i know exactly what it's like to break up and go your separate way it's like you're literally in a marriage and so i don't want to go through that again you know in regards to like moving in and breaking up and like we're not married but i'm doing everything like a wife you know like i'm cooking every day i'm cleaning every day um you know like it's just i'm not your wife though you know what i mean so like i yeah i'm definitely against the whole moving in and shacking up situation and i know guys who want that they want to experience moving in before you get married and that's just not that's just not something I'm willing to do, you know? So that was just a, a one red flag from her situation. Like she moved in with him really quick. And, you know, also getting married, like you have to, you have to meet the person's family. You know, you have to like really take your time and get to know people, you know, because you'd be really shocked on what you find out if you just rush into everything, you know? And that's one thing I learned from my past situations is like, do not rush into a relationship. Just, I understand you guys might like be so attracted to each other and like each other, you know, a lot, but just take your time and really get to know people, you know? That's the key is like, take your time. There's no rush, you know, we're all still young, you know, just take your time. And so, with that being said, guys, I have posted on my social media that I am in a trailer for the Romeo show. So Romeo Miller created a TV show for godly dating. And um, I can't talk too much about it, but it will be premiering in April. So it was originally supposed to premiere in March, but they pushed it back to April and yeah i decided to do the show and yeah i can't talk about it but you guys definitely got to tune in and watch it because it's definitely a good show that's all i have to say shout out to romeo for you know putting together a show for godly people people who strive to date with God in mind you know that's one thing I really value is like people who want to have like a God-centered relationship people who want to have like a God-centered marriage because you know I just think that's important I think that a relationship should be dedicated to God at the end of the day because yeah we can say oh yeah like I just want to be in a relationship like I just want to like get my needs fulfilled but that's selfish you know like I feel like when we align our relationship with our creator it's gonna be first of all it's not gonna fail because anything with God involved is not gonna fail so when you base it on God it's not gonna fail you know versus when you base it on yourself we're not perfect and we fail all the time you know what i'm saying so it's just like when you base a relationship on god it won't fail 
I say all that to say, guys, I might want to order one more sandwich because that thing was good. That was the BEC, the bacon, egg, and cheese. I think I'm going to try the sausage, egg, and cheese or the steak, egg, and cheese because that was fire. Start new order, pick up Edgewood. Sandwich. Guys, I'm on an app right now. Let me see. Study Vegan Edgewood. And then it just tells you to search for the food, but it doesn't give me like a menu. I don't know how I can order. Maybe, I don't think they have a phone. It's not giving me a menu to even Thank choose from. Thank you for calling Slutty Vegan. Our customer service department is closed. We are open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday and from 10 a.m. to midnight Friday and Saturday Eastern Standard Time weekly. Stay slutty. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I guess it's not meant because I don't feel like going back in there. I was going to order another breakfast sandwich. I was going to try the steak egg and cheese one. But I don't feel like waiting in that line. Honestly, I really don't. So, so guys, I started posting content to my TikTok. So, if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's Thriving in Faith underscore. I post nutrition, health, wellness, fitness content on it every single day. So, also, if you haven't already followed me on Instagram for my health and wellness page, it is thriving in faith underscore again i post daily content so make sure you follow me support but um i do want to try another sandwich guys but i really do not feel like waiting in line again i think i am going to do it though if i could pull up on the street that way i don't have to like walk all the way out like i did before then I'll do it. If there's no parking on the street, I'm not going to do it. So, guys, I also have been reading the Bible. So, I started reading Genesis last year, and now I'm in the book of Judges. And it's been an interesting, interesting situation. So, it feels like right now I'm reading a history book because I'm just learning about how the times were back then and how things were. And typically it's just talking about like, okay, how God created the earth in Genesis, how created us and everything was perfect. All the animals got along, you know, they were in the garden of Eden. It was all plants and, you know, vegetables and nobody was eating each other. Like the animals weren't eating each other. Everybody was like a vegetarian, just getting along. Everything was peaceful. There was no death, nothing. And then it's like, as soon as, Eve committed the sin that's when sin was created in the world and it's been you know sin ever since you know like murder started happening death started happening you know the animals started eating each other it's just it just became chaos after that and it's just like it's been ongoing ever since then so you know you, you guys know that I'm an optimistic person I'm always trying to find a positive and everything so I always try to look for the positive, but right now it's like I just have to accept it for what it is as I read because, you know, it just talks about how lineages were created and tribes and everybody just spread all over. Um, and it's interesting because it's a lot of war, a lot of killing and murders like that's just all i've been reading about it's like people taking over each other's land and just all this crazy stuff and it also talks about how god you know gave us chance after chance after chance to get it right 
you know, we never did. It's like they were worshiping false gods and he would kill everybody for, for worshiping these false gods. And then he'll forgive them and, and try it again. And then they'll go back to doing it over and over and over again. It's just like, so it's like begin, since the beginning of the time, we, God has given us countless opportunities to just serve him. But, you know, I don't know if it's the flesh that just want us to sin against God. Like, because why would you want to worship false gods? Why would you want to worship you know, idols and stuff like that. Like, I just don't understand when you really have a relationship with God and like you understand how powerful he is. Like these other gods that people worship, it's like, it's laughable because it's just like, it's temporary guys. Whenever you feel like these, whenever you hear about people who worship false gods and they're granted certain powers or granted certain like things, it's like, I just don't understand why people don't want to just serve God at the end of the day. Like, you know, I know it's not an easy walk. You know, we're prevented from doing a lot of things, you know. And I honestly have just been okay with just being by myself and hanging up with the friends that I have. Because I just... My lifestyle has completely changed, guys. Like, I don't go to the club anymore. I don't go to, like, lounges either. I don't go to, um, I hardly even drink anymore. Like, and I used to be a wine O, okay? Like, I don't even, I hardly drink. And it's like, my lifestyle has completely changed. Because if you go back years ago, you know, you would see, oh, Kelly, go over to here go i was always going out somewhere just oh well not really but no it wasn't but like when somebody asks me oh you want to go out to this club this lounge i'm like no i'm good like i'm just in a different place in my life like i just want to be in environments where i know god is present and I just don't want to be around certain things anymore. So, you know, I feel like people look at me differently now because of it. But I always warn them, like, even, like, old friends. Like, I just tell them, like, I'm not there anymore. Like, I, I don't invite me out for brunch or invite me to, you know, dinner or an event or let's do something fun. You know what I mean? I'm all for that, like bowling, skating, like all that. I'm all for it. But please do not ask me to go to a club. Please do not ask me to go to a lounge because I will not be going. So the Bible has just been educating me on, you know, how things were. That's where I am right now. And so I just been learning about that every day. So, guys, I'm about to see if there's parking down there. I don't think it is, but I'm going to go see. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, guys. So, I literally just ran in really quick and ordered the quickie. I cannot wait. It's probably going to take like five minutes to make, so that's why I just came to sit in the car and talk to you guys. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just crazy being back on Edgewood because, like... Back in like 2014, I was always on Edgewood, y'all. Like the apartment store right is right there. That's crazy, right on the boulevard. It looks so different though. Like Edgewood looks different to me. So crazy. I mean, it's been 10 years, right? But so it's gonna change. But if you guys ever wanna come get some really good food, come to Slutty Vegan and ATL. But yeah, so there's the apartment store right there, guys. I used to go to the apartment store all the time. And what it is, it's just a little bar. Like this whole street is like full of bars. It's like you just bar hop all night. That's what life is all about, guys. You evolve, you change, you mature, you grow up. You know, you can't just be out here your whole life, you know. But... There's so many things I want to try on the menu, guys. There's so much food on this menu. And so, 
yeah, I'm just really excited to try new foods. I've been seeing like different places. I follow these, this group on Instagram where they basically go to all these different places here in Atlanta and it's like interesting like the next place guys i want to go to is inside lennox mall they have like a grilled cheese restaurant and i am obsessed with grilled cheese grilled cheese and tomato soup is like one of my favorite well it is my favorite comfort food of all time like favorite of all time that and mac and cheese mac and cheese and grilled cheese with tomato soup are my top comfort foods but yeah they have like this whole restaurant dedicated to making these gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches when i say gourmet it's real gourmet like it has seafood it has all different kinds of stuff in it and yeah like they have like all these different like tomato soups and stuff like that like it's really 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 it looks really delicious honestly and so i am gonna try that soon so I'm definitely gonna vlog that for you guys. I'm definitely a foodie, even though I'm into like fitness, health, and wellness, I'm definitely a foodie. I love to try new foods, new restaurants, and yeah, so I'm very excited to just go on this journey with you guys and try new restaurants here in the city. That's kind of what that's kind of the reason why I like living in the suburbs but i'm cl still close to the city because i still can come to the city and try all this food you know and so yeah i'm excited guys to try all these new places like oh it's gonna be so good but um yeah stay tuned for everything coming up guys i'll let you guys know when the show premieres i'm going to my friend amber's son his name is Aiden. His birthday party today at 1 o'clock. He's turning 2. And I've never even met Aiden. I remember when Amber told me she was pregnant. I was already in LA. And I hadn't been back to Atlanta. So, you know, now she has a 2-year-old. And I'm just so excited to meet Aiden. Because me and Amber go back to like 2000, what, 16? And so her and I became really close. And if you go back to like my 2016, 2017, like Snapchat video videos, like I'm posting on YouTube, she's all in there. You know, we used to always go out and go to dinner and have fun together, you know? And so, yeah, now she has a son. So I'm so excited to meet Aiden today and Tomorrow is, well, my sister Tasia, you guys have met her. I've actually done, like, a whole, like, interview with her. And she has a Mogul Mommy Network. So, yeah, it's not going to be my first time seeing her since, what, 2021? Yeah, guys, I haven't seen my friends in, like, two years. So, I did go support my old roommate, Imani. She's an actress. You guys have seen her on my channel as well. I did go support her. She had a movie premiere. And she did amazing in it, guys. Like, she... She did so well. She's a great actress. Like, seriously. She played, like, multiple roles. And it was a really good movie, you know? It had different skits in it where they played different characters. And it was really entertaining. So, shout out to Imani and CJ. Because CJ, you did great too, girl. They're just so talented and it felt good to just support them and be a part of like their big day so that was awesome I premiered at emory university in the conference room and it was really nice and it was a really well put together event like it was really really nice and i ended up meeting this photographer there and yeah it was just great great vibes great energy and so like i was saying tomorrow i'm looking up with tasia aka leah and her birthday was the other day but she's celebrating tomorrow so she has like some festivities planned so i'm gonna vlog that tomorrow as well so you guys will be a part of that but yeah i think my food might be ready i'm not sure but i'm gonna wait like three more minutes 
Study Vegan is popping, y'all. It's just people coming in and out, in and out, in and out. This place is definitely lit. I'm excited for tomorrow to celebrate with her. You know, she's turning 33 and yeah. Life is exciting, honestly. Life is exciting. I look forward to each and every day. Guys, it's a blessing to wake up and just do what you love, you know? And I'm just walking in faith and truly just trusting God and doing what makes me happy. So you guys know that if you've been following me for a long time, you know that that's what I do. I live my life doing what, what it makes me happy and walking with God, you know? And so I just decided to just walk with him and always, cause like I said, I was being like a lukewarm believer. I was like, oh yeah, I believe in God. I'm walking with God, but I'm out like getting drunk and going to clubs and partying. That's not walking with God, you know? So I just decided to just fully walk with God and I'm on this straight path, so. I'm excited to just meet people that are more on this path with me, you know, and just continue to grow in Christ and get stronger and better. So, yeah, guys, I think my sandwich might be ready. So, I'll be right back. Guys, I went back. <laughs> Being greedy. <laughs> I got the quickie, guys. Yes. Now, this looks... Woo! The the BC was kind of small. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was a little small, but it was a one. But the quickie is more of a bigger sandwich. So I feel like this is gonna like fill me up for sure. And it's supposed to be like vegan steak, so it's definitely gonna fill me up. So guys, I just want to show it to you. The quickie is steak, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Woo! Guys, tell me this don't look good. Tell me this does not look delicious okay this looks this looks phenomenal okay so here we go Gosh. Guys, all the flavors. Guys, you know when something is so good, like you don't even want to talk, you just want to keep eating it. Yeah. 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 Guys, that was so delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Now I'm full. That was amazing. I'm speechless, guys. Well, with that being said, it was great talking to you guys this week. Again, sorry for being late. It's just I've been so busy, guys. I've been extremely busy starting this new job this week. It's been on the go. And um, I was trying to think of something interesting to do for you guys this week. So being that it's march guys we're in march it's almost spring daylight savings is on sunday which means the days are going to be longer so we get more sun we get more you know it doesn't get dark so early so yeah being that it's march i was like oh study vegan launch the breakfast menu march 1st all right that's the video of the week so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i love you guys so much k tribe till the next video i love you and i'll see you next time Mwah.